Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm bringing you a quick read today about what's coming towards you in love. Um, oh, apparently that wanted to fly out. That's the King of Swords. So I feel like you're going to have someone coming towards you with uh, direct communication. Um, someone's going to be very like analytical, clear thinking, clear minded. They're going to be able to speak to what they want. They're going to speak to what they feel. Um, they're going to be very direct and they're going to be willing and wanting to communicate with you. I feel like sometimes the King of Swords is a little too harsh. Um, oh, I don't think it's going to be too harsh because we just got two cards of wish fulfillment. So I feel like this person is going to be your wish fulfillment. We have Aquarius, we have Gemini, Libra, we have um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We have air and water right now. So um, signs are kind of irrelevant, but I feel like um, this person is definitely going to be your wish fulfillment. We have the star card, which is a wish fulfillment. And then we also have the seven of cups. Um, this is this has multiple meanings, one of them being it's your wish fulfillment. But this could also be like um, someone who potentially had some options um, and maybe we're sitting in confusion or maybe you had some options. But I really kind of feel like this is actually more of um, a wish fulfillment. So even if there were options in the situation, um, it's really kind of irrelevant at this point. This person recognizes that you're who they want. Um, I believe that they are willing and ready to share their secrets with how they truly feel about you, what they think about you. Like I said, they want to um, expose what they're feeling, what they're thinking about the situation. Let's get some more cards about this. Holy smokes, I almost just cussed. <laughs> All right. So uh, the cards that flew out were the Three of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So I feel like um, this person has gone through some heartbreak. This person has gone through a lot of um, loss, grief, sadness when it comes to relationships. And I feel like they've really been working on their self, right? Becoming emotionally stable, becoming emotionally fulfilled independently. But again, this is like a independence, but it's also a wish fulfillment. So I feel like they've been heartbroken. Um, I feel like they've gone through trials and tribulations in their life. I feel like they've been really focusing on how to improve themselves for the next time around. And I feel like um, you are their next time. You are, I think, let's, let, before I say anything else, I'm just going to pull some more cards to see what else is coming with well, the person coming towards you. What's coming towards you in love? The person coming towards you in love. The devil, the nine of pentacles, and the king of freaking wands. Okay, yep, yep. And the higher font on the bottom of the deck. You guys, this is def. Oh my gosh, then the magician. This is definitely a very spiritual connection. So we have the sun, we have the moon, right? Those are like kind of opposites. We have the higher font, and we have the magician. We have the devil. So I feel like, um, I feel like the sun's going to be coming out soon too in these cards, but I definitely feel like this is a spiritually guided connection. This is something, someone you've been manifesting. Um, this is a person that is going to offer you everything you've been hoping for and waiting for. Um, this is a great connection. This is definitely a soulmate connection, but let me get to these cards that are over here too. Mm -mm -mm. Knight of Pentacles. Um, I think that this person has some intense, intense, passionate thoughts about you. I feel like um, the devil card I don't mind so much when it comes out with like the king of wands because I feel like that's like, or the queen of wands, that's like intense sexual chemistry. It's like an obsession, um, not like a sexual addiction in my book, but more of a obsession towards this person, like uh, just kind of that relationship in which you can't keep your hands off each other. You like want each other, you desire each other, and it's not something that kind of fizzles out. Oh, sorry guys. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, so sorry about that interruption. I don't even know 100% where I was, but I was. I think I was saying that um, when we have like the devil in this king of wands energy to me, this energy to me, it's like this... Um, the sexual chemistry between you and your person, like one where you can't keep your hands off each other, one's that one where you want to be with each other. Um, it's kind of like that nauseating, like other people look at you and they're like, oh gosh, here we go again kind of thing. But I think between the two of you, it's an intense connection. 
um, I do think too, it's um, all being kind of propelled by you being focused on um, growing yourself, getting yourself stable. I think they're doing the same thing. I think you guys kind of have some parallels here, especially with the fact that your soul mate kind of energy with this magician um, I, and this destined kind of um, relationship of you guys coming together. So I really feel like um, it's going to be like off the charts um, in terms of chemistry uh, in your relationship. I also feel like, you know, I feel like you both are very independent. We have the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. I feel like, um, like I said, you both have gone through some difficult times and growth that's necessary to kind of come together. The bottom of the deck, we have the knight of pentacles, which is slow and steady. So I don't think this is going to be moving quickly. I feel like your person might be acting like that king of swords energy. I feel like my Right, I'm hoping I'm not going to like knock everything over because that's what I tend to do. Sorry. Um, I think your person is coming in as the king of swords energy, but I feel like um, that's with direct communication. They're going to tell you what they're thinking. They're going to be able to communicate things. I don't think the relationship's going to move super quickly. Um, but we have the empress under that. We have ace of cups under that. We have the world card under that. We have the knight of cups. Holy, holy smokes. The ten of cups. The eight of wands. So eight of pentacles, the two of cups, holy smokes. So definitely soulmate, true love energy. Um, definitely understanding that it takes work to make a relationship work. We have the 10 of cups, true love, soulmate, um, happily ever after, right? Gumdrops and lollipops, right? All that. Um, the knight of cups is someone who is coming in, providing love offers like red roses, uh, poems, bottles of wine, a picnic, a white horse, you know, it's someone coming in with like gestures of showing how they feel about you. The world card is that completion of a previous cycle, prompting a positive situation coming forward. A uh, new cup in love. This person's going to be absolutely in love with you. They see you as their empress, someone who is nurturing, someone who is compassionate, someone who is abundant, someone who just kind of feels like home to them, someone that they feel great with when they're with or, um, you know, when they think about you, they're just like, uh, you're it for them. You are their person. You are their safe place. Um, I feel like this is really a, a phenomenal connection, to be truly honest with you. This is amazing. All right, so let's get a couple of the Soul Reflections Love Oracle cards. New life again. Sorry, we have... Um, this is like the Empress to me. If you notice the Empress is pregnant and this girl is pregnant, it's new life. Uh, some people are like, you know, I'm past the baby making stage and that's fine too. But this is like a birthing of a new situation. If you're not baby making age or want a baby, um, but be mindful if you are able to have babies because you might, especially with this kind of chemistry here. So beware, be beware. This is uncharted territory. Yeah, new level of unconditional love for sure. And then we have insecurities. Let go of the negative experiences of the past. I feel like that's what you're both doing in this situation. Um, I feel like your person definitely showing up as the three of swords energy. And the nine of cups is definitely someone who's been through some hardships in terms of love. Sorry, the chair is like really cold on my back. Um, so I feel like this person has kind of gone... Um, move forward from their negative past experiences. There still could be some insecurities in the situation. Um, and maybe that's why the pace of the relationship is going to be like the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like that's the that explanation. You guys, I'm telling you freaking a intimacy. That's that devil energy seduction. <laughs> yeah, we'll get uh, one more card if possible. And this is the Love and Romance Journey deck from Queen Sugar Tarot. So I have hair all over the place. Winter and growth. Yeah. I feel like you both are, like I said, on that, um, the, the trajectory of growing from your past experiences. And this is saying winter, guys. So that's like right around the corner. Um, I definitely see a very intimate and seductive situation, but I also see one that is of, it's true love. It's the Hierophant. It's the wish fulfillment. It's the, um, oh, sorry. I lost my, oh, it's the Empress. It's the Ace of Cups. It's all those cards that were coming out that signify a new start in love, 
a very true love, a very passionate connection. So if you guys are watching this video, I think you have great things coming towards you in love. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to end it here. Um, thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. And until next time, guys, take care.